it was a Sunday when Pastor Al had finished preaching a sermon that made me realize that was how God I am nothing. Okay, this is Jolana Joseph. Jojo, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. After the sermon, he said a prayer, after which I repeated and asked the Lord to have mercy upon me and cleanse me of my sins, and that his son, Jesus Christ, would come into my heart and save me. Right, and he did that, right? Yes. Good, good, good. So let's give her a round of applause. Woo! Right, so she asked Jesus Christ to come into her heart and save her. So first you believe, and then the next step is that you get baptized. So we're excited to do that today, okay? Uh, I was at... Travis Bible Chapel one Sunday when Elder Blake was preaching. He was preaching about procrastinating to give your life to Christ and it, was, and it convicted me to give my life to Christ that day. I said the believer's prayer in church that Sunday and I was the only person who said that um, prayer that day. Um, I decided that day I wanted to follow Jesus Christ and to let him take control of my life since then. All right, this is Mia Toya. Mia, have you accepted Jesus as your Savior and Lord? Yes. Based on your profession of faith, it is my privilege to baptize you as my sister in Christ. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is Albert Porter. Albert, have you accepted Jesus as your Savior and Lord? Yes. Based on your profession of faith, it is my privilege to baptize you as my brother in Christ. Over dinner with a friend of mine who is now a pastor, he reminded me to trust God totally and leave not on our own understanding. This reminder nudged me to accept the Lord as my Savior and to trust in Him because He promised not to leave us until the end. Amen. 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 Let's give God some praise for him. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome, sir. All right. Well, it was a Sunday morning. I was in the audience and Pastor Junior Blake was preaching. Right? He and called me Junior Blake. You know what <laughs> that? That's good. That's good. Right? That's good. He was preaching and it's like the, the words that were said, you know, during the sermon. It's like he was speaking directly to me, you know. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Andy Brown. Andy, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And I decided that day, yo, you know, I gotta change from my sinful ways and things and give my life to Christ. So that day, you know, I, I pray, I ask God to come into my heart and you know, change my, change my lifestyle. You know? And from ever since, I've been trying to live for God and stuff like that. Okay. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good job, man. All right. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, this is Abigail Richards. And it is my pleasure truly to be baptizing her. Have you received Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord Abigail? Yes. I was in church watching my family get baptized when I realized that it was time to give my life to God. Hearing them say how God changed their life made me think of what God had done for me and how easily it can be taken away. I knew that over the years God had worked on my heart and changed me but I was always afraid of making that big step. But at that time I was no longer scared and wanted to commit my life to God. I repented and let him carry my life. I repented and allowed him to carry my life. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Can you imagine how emotional that must be for her grandmother and her parents to know that she's following Christ, right? And, um, and now she's publicly declaring that. Amen. I started to attend Harvest Bible Chapel September 2016 with my, my husband, then boyfriend. This is Soraya Dean. She's tall. Right? But we are so happy for us, Soraya. Have you accepted Jesus as your Savior and Lord? Yes! As I got to know the members of the church, I was encouraged to take step one and step two. And in step two, I then realized that I had to make that step, believing in God and repenting. And for real, and accepting Him as my personal Lord and Savior. In step two, I said the prayer, and I asked God to forgive me. And believing and accepting that He is my Savior. Yes. Amen. 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 This one is very special for me. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> I guess it's special for all of us. <laughs> this is my son, Matthew. Matt, Matt, have you accepted Jesus as your Savior and Lord? Yes. 
I was six years old and we were at the beach relaxing and the big wave came and swept away my sister. My dad was saved her. When we got home, I was crying because I was scared and confused about what had just happened. Then I realized I was a sinner, so I asked Jesus Christ to come into my heart and save me. It is my privilege to baptize you as my son and my brother in Christ. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right. He said it was then that he realized that he was a sinner and he asked Jesus Christ to come into his life and save him. And that is how simple salvation is. Amen? From the mouth of babes. From the mouth of babes. Good job, man. Good job.